DJI just released a whole bunch of software updates for the Mini 3 Pro, RC Remote, and Fly App. And while normally I wouldn't get too excited, these updates actually have lots of cool new features. Starting with the RC Remote, its firmware gets bumped up to version 1.02, and the major addition here is support for the Air 2S. Now, I'm sure this made a lot of Air 2S owners very happy, but not only that, it does give me hope we will see support for the Mini 2 sometime in the future. Another interesting addition is support for FlyShare, which allows file transfers from the remote controller to a mobile device. To access this feature on your RC Remote, from the main screen, touch on album, and in the top right hand corner, you will now see a little remote icon. Just tap on that to get started. On your mobile device, open up the DJI Fly app, which must be version 1.7.8 or later. Tap on album, tap on quick transfer, and in the pop-up dialog box, tap the scan code icon. Scan the QR code with your mobile device to join the remote's network, and you should be good to go. As for the Mini 3 Pro itself, this 1.00.0400 update gets a lot more interesting. First thing on the list is the FAA's remote ID requirements for folks flying in the United States. Now, I live in Canada, so this doesn't apply to me, but it does affect my US friends. I think it's a bit of a touchy subject for some folks, so I'm just going to skip past it and get on to the fun camera stuff. The first camera related update is that Master Shots now works in portrait mode. Honestly, I've not even played with Master Shots yet, but I'm sure folks who do use that feature will appreciate the option of using it either in portrait or landscape orientation. Okay, so what I'm actually excited about here are the shutter and ISO priority settings that have been added to Pro Mode. Now, if you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera, you may already be somewhat familiar with these new features. Priority modes are basically a step above full manual in that they are semi-automatic. Typically on cameras, we can manipulate three things shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. The Mini 3 Pro has a fixed aperture lens, so we can only change our shutter speed and ISO to set exposure. Prior to this update, the Mini 3 Pro had two camera modes, auto and manual, which DJI likes to call pro mode. Auto is exactly what you would expect, fully automatic camera settings. You push the button and the software figures out the correct exposure settings for you. In pro mode, it's up to you to manually set the shutter speed and ISO for correct exposure. With these priority modes, however, you can manually set either ISO or shutter speed while leaving the other value to fluctuate automatically for correct exposure. In ISO priority mode, you manually set the ISO value while leaving shutter speed in auto. And for shutter priority, you manually set the shutter speed while leaving ISO on auto. So how would this be useful? Well, here's an example. You're out shooting video with your Mini 3 Pro, you're shooting at 24 frames per second, and for natural looking motion blur, you want your shutter speed to be a constant 1 50th of a second. You use shutter priority mode and set the shutter speed manually. Now it's a bright sunny day, so you need to use an ND filter and you pick one that's just a touch too strong. No problem. Set ISO to be auto and let it automatically compensate to maintain a correct exposure while your shutter speed is locked in at the optimal setting. The cool thing here is when you're using auto ISO, the ISO value moves in tenths of a stop increments. In contrast, when you're setting ISO manually, it moves in full stop increments. Even though ISO is not fully under our control in auto, it's nice to have more granular adjustments. On the flip side, ISO priority is great for those times when you're not worried about a particular shutter speed, but you want to maintain a lower ISO value for cleaner images and video. Just set your ISO value to the lowest possible setting and put shutter speed on auto to allow it to automatically adjust as necessary. ISO and shutter priority are definitely welcome features and they give us good options when you just want a bit more control over your camera settings, but you don't want to go full manual. Next on the new feature list is support for style parameters, which for this update includes sharpness and noise reduction. For photos, as you might expect, these style parameters are applied to JPEG files, but not to raw images. On the video side, style settings are applied to footage captured in both the normal and decent light color profiles. I expected style parameters to work with the normal color profile, but decent alike was a bit of a surprise. Regardless, I think it's awesome to have even more control over images and video, so this is definitely a great new feature. Perhaps in future updates, DJI will add some additional style options such as contrast or saturation, and maybe even some presets. And last but not least, this update also added support for wide-angle lenses. 
DJI currently has one available for sale on their website and I'm sure other manufacturers will follow quickly. I'm actually really stoked about this as it opens up even more creative possibilities with the Mini 3 Pro. And that's it for this one guys. I plan on diving deeper into camera settings in future videos, so please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And as always, thanks so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>